Several Bethalto, Illinois residents are still cleaning up after heavy rain last week left their basements flooded. They say the city's sewer system is to blame for the backup. Right about this point, uh, I realized that I was looking at a reflection of myself in my floor, uh, and I just saw all my stuff floating around. The dread Chris Galvin felt early Tuesday morning had nothing to do with the election. He woke up to a flooded basement in his Bethalto, Illinois home. He says a plumber confirmed the source of the water. He says my pipes are fine, my water heater is fine, everything outside was fine. Uh, so the water was coming specifically from my drain hole. He woke up and he was floating in his bed. Next door, Russell Walters' teenage son provided the rude awakening. He woke me up screaming. I walked down and there was a foot and a half of water in our basement. Galvin and Walters are among nearly a dozen Bethalto residents who contacted us about their flooded homes. This was the scene a mile west on Georgia Street. The homeowner tells us children's Christmas gifts and appliances were damaged by the flooding. Even in a newly constructed Bethalto neighborhood, we saw flood cleanup underway. Everything that touched water in here, uh, I'm just going to have to toss because I, I can't risk, you know, the possible bacteria and fungus and mold. Family pictures, uh, our wedding, wedding stuff that me and my wife had, all gone. Walter says it's not unusual to get a little water in his basement during a heavy rain, but nothing close to this. He says his wife contacted Bethalto's Village Hall for answers. So did Galvin. They didn't specify any reasoning in it. They just claimed that it wasn't their fault. Just kind of said, hey, we can't control the weather. Um, and that was basically it. She just, hey, put in the paperwork, but we don't know if we're going to be able to help you out or not. We stopped by Bethalto's Village Hall to question officials about the flooding. Public Works Director Rod Cheatham told me the community got nearly eight inches of rain in less than 48 hours, overwhelming Bethalto's sewer system. He said the flooding could have been worse. Cheatham tells us Bethalto has spent $10.5 million since 2018, including $8.5 million in American Rescue Plan Act funding to improve pipes and install backup generators at lift stations. He shared these pictures of the work recently done to modernize the infrastructure. He admits there's still work to be done and sympathizes with residents frustrated over their flooded homes. When it comes to this type of weather event, he says it's hard for any sewer system to process that much water. For residents like Chris Galvin and Russell Walters, further improvements can't happen fast enough. Something to, to go forward from this, because if you don't adapt and this keeps happening, you're just going to keep seeing damage over time.